Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a boxer puppy, so let's get started. To draw this cute dog, let's first start by drawing its eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. And I'm going to come right over, about right here, and draw another circle. Just leaving enough room for a big nose. So I'm about that wide. And then from there, I'm going to make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to come in here with two smaller circles inside for highlights and a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. So same thing over here. So if you love dogs, please make sure to check out my Draw So Cute um, How to Draw a Dogs playlist. And thank you for all the requests to keep drawing dogs for you. I hope you love this boxer as much as all the other dogs I've drawn for you so far. Okay, so same thing, lines at the bottom. Okay, so that now that we have the eyes in, let's come to the center and say about right here. I'm just going to draw a big nose, big curve, right in the center. And I'm going to round this off on the sides and then bring it down to the center at an angle. Just round it off a little bit more. There. And I'm just going to come in here and give it a little oval at the top and then shade it in so you can see a little better since it's black anyways. Okay, so now from that, now we have the nose, let's come down right in the center of this point that you've created, right in the middle, and let's draw a straight line down. About that much. From there, I'm going to start to draw the mouth and I'm going to start to draw the saggy cheeks that makes a boxer so unique. So right here, I'm going to start and come out and about right here, I'm going to start to curve. So same thing over here. And curve. Oh, so cute already, right? <laughs> okay, so here's the trick. Now from this point, we're going to just come around and create this little pouch and come right in between the eyes and the nose. So that's our goal right here. So let's come around with this curve. And then we're going to aim to come right in between. And so I'm just drawing this part for you so you can see it. Um, but this is part is usually white, but then again, there's so many different patterns, different kinds of boxers. So it's all up to you how you want to color yours. But in general, this is very important. This part is very important. These saggy, I don't even know what you call them, saggy cheeks. <laughs> so I'm just going to slowly come in between here. Just make sure I'm coming in between there creating this little pouch once again. And then I'm going to just um, bring it up to simplify the pattern. I'm going to bring this in. So once again, this part is up, up to you how you want to um, color your boxer. If you want to stripe right down the center, then just follow mine and draw this. So something like that, all right there. Okay, so then from there, let's come right in between, say about right here, and I'm just going to draw a soft curve for the mouth area. And then now we can start to draw the head. So let's come say about right here where the cheeks are in this area. And I'm just going to go up with a curve and kind of end about right there where the eyes are. So same thing on the other side. I'm just going to drag a point. Same area on the other side, and we're going to stop about right there. So I'm just going to come say about right here, so it's easier on my hand this coming down this way. And connect. 
From there, let's bring this curve up more. So kind of where this point is, I'm just gonna come up here and start to come in. So about right there, I'll bring this in, this curve. So about right there. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So say about right here. And connect. So then before we go further, let's come back right here and I'm going to draw those um, creases in a bulldog that um, make it extra cute. So where the eyes are right here, I'm just going to draw kind of this curve that goes around the eye, but it's at this angle. Maybe a smaller one at the top. So same thing over here. That makes a bulldog look kind of sad, right? It's so adorable. <laughs> so a little crease right there. Okay, so now that we have that in, now let's just skip a little bit and I'm just gonna start and I'm gonna to start to draw a curve right on top. So about right here and it's gonna be pretty pointy at the top and then coming down. So I notice that they're, the tops of their head are a little bit more pointy. Okay, so now that we have that in, now we can finally draw the ears. So kind of in this area where you kind of skipped a little, we're gonna come about right here and come out and we're gonna pop in those floppy ears that make it so cute. Coming in a little bit and out. And we're just going to Plop these down right to the side in this area and curve it in. It's almost like drawing a um, golden retriever or Labrador. So same thing on the other side. These floppy ears go up. You can see a little bit better on this side. We're gonna dip in, come out, and we just want to make sure we end at the same area on the other side. From there, let's continue this curve down. And now that we've given ourselves a point, curve and tuck it in, just like the other side. There. And then if you like, you can come in here. Um, if you're using your Sharpie, I'm just gonna make this part a little bit thicker, just to give it a little bit of space between the ears and the head, if you like, just a little touch. Okay, so now that we have that, then finally, um, before I forget, I'm just gonna come right here and just lightly draw some more wrinkle crease lines. From there, let's go ahead and draw the body. So I'm gonna come about right here. Since bulldogs are very strong and big dogs, we're gonna start the neck area about right here. And then let's come down. And they have very thick um, legs, front legs. So let's come down about right there. I'm gonna to start to bring it in. And let's keep bringing it down. So I'm just going back and forth just so it's a little bit more even. So you take a look. And then from there, I'm gonna say about in this area, nice and thick front legs. I'll say about right here. I'm just gonna start to draw a curve. So the same thing on the other side. And then let's go ahead and finish. Bring this down. So work on this side first. So coming down and about right there, I'm gonna stop and curve out. Those big paws. And then go ahead and connect it with a curve. And then in this area, just come in here with two curves. So same thing over here. Curve it out. So 
you just make sure the same area, same level, and connect. And then once again, on this side, the curves are going to go this way. There, nice and thick, right? <laughs> and strong. And then in between, just go ahead and add a little curve about right here. And then now the legs. So um, the back legs. So about right here, I'm going to start and bring a curve down all the way into that area. And then another curve that pops out just for an indication of the back. And then the same thing on the other side. Right there, approximately. And same thing, curve out and bring it right back to this area right here. And curve it out. There. Okay, so we have that in and then um, Let's see. If you like, I can just show you really quickly right here when you're coloring it. The, um, the boxers tend to have this area um, dark, like a black. So we're just going to come in here and shade this in. But then once again, it all depends on how you want to color your boxer. But in general, I think right here. So I'm just going to pop in a curve to show you. And before I go, I have to add a heart, right, to this uh, boxer so I can make it my drastic cute boxer. So since I'm not giving him a collar, I'll put it about right here. And it's going to be at an angle. So there, hope you love how this boxer puppy turned out and I made it easy for you to follow along. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new drastic cute videos. See you later.